Hey everybody, Matt Timms here, and today I want to show you how to add other businesses' Facebook ads and Facebook page accounts to your business manager. Um, it's a little confusing, and most people that come from just using a Facebook page are used to simply adding a user. But once you get to the point where you are doing social marketing as an agency, it can be management or Facebook ads. Once you get to the point where you're doing that for other people, um, you do not want to have all of the notifications showing up on your personal page. You want to be able to separate the two for more than just your sanity, but that's definitely number one. You want to be able to keep notifications, stats, messages in your business manager um, separate from your personal page. It'll just help you live better and manage your clients better. So to start, the first thing I always tell clients is do not add me to your page. Do not. Um, they're used to adding their staff. That's kind of the habit they're in. And I say do not do that because then this doesn't work quite as smooth. You can still do it, um, but it's easier just to, to skip that from the start. So go ahead and go into, you see in the top right there, you see that kind of flashing. Go ahead and hit business settings this is assuming you already have business manager set up um, and then on the left here go ahead and click pages so we're going to start with the pages and you need to know what level of permission you need and you can see I've got way too many but um, then if you go over here on this top right section um, adding a page would be one that you're already the admin so you just pull it in to the business manager uh, most of the time, though, you're going to click Request Access to a Page. You have to do this even if you're just doing Facebook ads. You still need access to the page. So go ahead and type in the page name. I'm just going to use my music store. Um, it's already in there, but just as an example, um, if you type kind of their handle or the facebook.com slash whatever, I found that's the most exact way. When you start doing capitalization and spaces and all that sort of stuff, it gets a little bit messy and so it doesn't pull up. But if you just do the exact um, URL, the exact handle, that seems to work every time. And you'll see it's already it's already in there, so it gives me this this warning. Um, but then down here, you select what you want. I rarely ever do admin for client work. If I'm doing ads, then it's just going to be Facebook Advertiser that allows you to use the page on your ads but not actually post organically um, not reply to comments or messages or anything like that purely running the ads if I don't know for sure how well the client watches it then I will definitely request at least moderator so when somebody sends a message or comments on an ad I can be the one to engage in it um, even though it's not your job sometimes or often it affects the um, performance of your ads to actually respond and engage and it helps your clients business depending on what you're doing maybe you need more but overall I don't like admin because it kind of says hey I'm in control and it just creates a potential power dynamic so 99% um, of the time I'm doing you either advertiser or moderator um, for my clients so then go ahead and click request access and then you'll have to tell them they should get a notification. They might need to go into their page settings where they normally assign users and there will be a notification waiting there for them. Next step is you need to go into add account um, and you need to do the exact same thing. So add new ad account, request access to the ad account. Uh, the Facebook ad account and the Facebook page are two different accounts and you need both to run ads. Facebook ad account is all the pixel all the pixel work all the conversions um, where they get billed kind of it's the back end that actually runs the ad and the page is what you assign the ad to if that makes sense um, so you need their ad account ID and sometimes it's a little confusing for them to find but basically they need to go into their settings and then into the uh, promotions area and at the bottom of their promotions area there's a section that says go to add manager and once they go to add manager then it looks an awful lot like this kind of how it looks for us in here and they can pull the number this big long number on the top left or what I like to do is I have them go to go to their settings once they're in ads manager Tell them to click over to settings and they'll see a big string of numbers right 
there. This page will look awful lot like theirs, so you can walk through it, or you can just take over the screen and do it. And then go ahead and um, they need to send you that, and then go back to Business Manager, paste that number in, um, and click confirm or click request. So, and then um, kind of the same idea. Rarely will I do admin because I don't want them to ever think that. Um, I was changing their billing information or assigning extra people. That's not what I'm doing. Um, so I'm always going to put advertiser, click confirm. They'll get a notification, but sometimes it doesn't go all the way through. So they do have to go into their ad account and see up on the top right where it says ad account roles. A lot of times there's going to be um, a request there that they have to accept to allow you to use it. Um, so there's one more step that allows you to be able to use the account. So MRT Marketing, that's kind of my marketing business. You can see that um, I am assigned to my account. So you have to think, think here's your marketing business and here's you. Even though you run the marketing business, which is the business manager, you still need to be assigned. So what we just did gives your business manager permission to their page. And then you need to go ahead and click add people and then you should be in there I'm already there but you're there you can just check a box and then click save changes and then you will have permission and it will show up on your business page manager then the same thing with pages um, same thing with pages go ahead you can see if you really want to sneak Matthew R. Tim's find me on Facebook boom boom tell me you listen to this and um, I don't know it will make me feel special so go ahead and do that but then you come back here and you do the same thing. Add people, this is to the page. You check the box, save changes, and then you will be added there. So for instance, it will look like this. So I just removed myself. So if I go back to my main page, I won't be able to see this or manage my page from the business manager. So then I need to add people. Um, you can see my name, I'm gonna check that. And then I can assign my role because the um, the person can have a lower role than the business manager if you had staff or team members, of course. And I'm going to save changes and then boom, 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 I am assigned there and it will start showing up in my account. Um, once you do that, you should be ready to go. Their page and their ad account will show up in all of your areas and you will be ready to rock. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will keep an eye on that and watch. Um, please check out some of the resources in the links in my description. They are affiliate links. Um, by you clicking those and buying and subscribing for the things that you already did, that helps me to be able to keep creating fantastic resources for you. Um, and if you found this helpful, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video and share it with everybody else that you think could benefit. So until next time, Happy marketing, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.